Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is my seventh and final day in Rome, and I'm indulging in my art lovers tour by visiting the Borghese Museum. The Borghese were a very famous, and still are very famous and prominent uh, aristoc arist aristocratic family in Rome. In fact, uh, four popes have been Borghese, and two queens of France have been Borghese. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing this art gallery. Uh, it's quite a long line to get in. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take for me to get in. And hopefully it uh, won't be too long. This is going to be a very long wait. Um, I don't, may not even get in at all. Apparently the gallery is sold out and, and uh, so I'm on the line for last minute tickets. There's one thing that is different with Rome Museum as opposed to say New York is that you pretty much have to reserve everything in advance. You know, that's a lesson, a hard lesson learned. But uh, I've got patience. You know, it's my last day here, so uh, I'll wait as long as it takes. All right, so I decided to bail on the Villa Borghese. Tickets are sold out well in advance, and it's just not worth it to stand in line for at least an hour, an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours and a half. And uh, it's 12.30, I was told uh, that the line was gonna be at least until two o'clock and maybe three o'clock. And even then, there's no guarantee. So I'm heading now for the Piazza del Popolo, which I think is an outdoor uh, area. And at least will lend itself to uh, being able to walk around freely. And while I'm there, um, while I'm on my way there, I want to share some thoughts on my visit to Rome so far. As I found out the hard way, a lot of the venues are sold out in advance. Can't just walk in, even waiting online in some places. Um, I did have a tour scheduled, say, for the, you know, a few days ago, for the uh, St. Peter's Basilica and Vatican Museum. That tour was canceled, so I went up waiting online, but at least I did get in after about 90 minutes or so. On the other hand, I don't know if uh, getting into the Colosseum would have been that easy, but I did have a tour for that. Now, Rome is a very walkable city, which is good if you like to walk. The metro system, actually there's only like two metro lines that go through around the city. And so you'll wind up walking, even to some of the most famous venues, you wind up walking from the metro a number of blocks or several kilometers. It's not so bad. So, what was I saying? Oh yes, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so, so Rome is a very walkable city, which is fortunate because there's only two metro lines and they're fairly wide, they intersect at one station. Many of the venues, although the Coliseum is slightly right across the street from one, uh, from one stop, the, uh, there's a quite a long walk, walk from the, the, the metro to, say, St. Peter's Basilica. So, be prepared. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. Good luck, my people. It's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. I dream of you once a year. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 That's easy. Well, that's one way to get rid of loose, some loose change. This is a beautiful park. So another thing that surprised me is the climate. It's mid-October and it's hot. It's been like between 85 to 90 degrees pretty much every day. Today might be one of the cooler days and it's still going to hit by 82. So there's that. 
So dress lightly. Maybe in the winter time, it might get a bit cooler. But I had the feeling that uh, it never really gets cold. I guess that's why the Romans wore togas all the time, because that's pretty good all weather clothing in a hot area like this. This is a pretty cool statue. I don't know what it is. Okay, so this is Goth, the uh, writer. These flowers are really fragrant. stopped into a free museum, the Museum of uh, Carlo Bellati. It's a modern art museum. See, Rome isn't all about antiquity, although it's mostly about antiquity, but it's a modern art here too. Uh, let's go enjoy some of the pieces before I continue on my way. This is apparently one of the few remaining walls of the original building, which was the orangery of the Borghese family, basically a place where fruit trees and fruits were stored for the winter. It was hit by cannon fire during the uh, War of Independence in 1849, and the building was mostly ruined. But these pieces remain. So this museum was founded by Carlo Bellotti, who was an art collector, a uh, financier, and president of a perfume company. He passed in 2006. This is him, painted by Larry Rivers, prominent uh, multimedia artist. dedicated to the work of Giorgio de Chirico, one of the great modernist masters from the early part of the 20th century. 
Jacob Jacob's work here from the beginning right to the end. De Kirchhoff's a master of surrealism. His work also had influences of Cubism. Oh, this is a very famous painting. I've seen this in books. This is a very pleasant surprise coming to this gallery. Museum is free to enter. This is the back entrance, actually, after leaving that exhibit that I just sat, which was just at. Leads now to back into the park. You know, there's a lot to be said for just walking around in the park, just enjoying nature. Not necessarily, I mean, Rome obviously has just so many, so many antiquities. You can only scratch the surface and being here only a week. But I kind of really enjoy just being out in the park. Just walking around, like this guy. These people over here just chilling. Guy running. What's this over here? He's one of those Roman parrots sitting right in that tree. I wonder if it's a nest hole. I don't know. I want to get a shot of it. Hopefully, I can get too close. Pastoral scene. There's people just rowing on the boat on the on the lake. than 15 feet away from me. Obviously very used to, used to humans and they did catch a fish. Then the gulls tried to steal the fish and the eagles flew away.
Well, I certainly didn't expect to do any wildlife shooting here today, but there you go, you never know. I feel like I've discovered the real Rome, not the touristy Rome, but the regular people's Rome. This is maybe one of the best things about visiting someplace and just wandering around, having a wander, not really knowing where you're going. And I mean, yes, there are some tourists around, but not a lot. It's just regular people enjoying their day. The Plaza del Popolo, I guess that means the People's Plaza. So here I am in the Plaza del Popolo, which literally means the People's Plaza. Behind me is the Porto del Popolo, formerly the Porto Flaminio. It was the entranceway to the uh, northern route out, uh, to Rome. And over the years, this square has been used for everything from, well, actually it was used for public executions at one time. Obviously this time long past. And this is generally a hangout place. Very popular with the people. It's a good place to just walk around. There's a lot of restaurants in the area, which I will definitely indulge in after I finish this. There's a, two churches over here. I don't know if either one of them is open. I guess they're probably not. But I'm so worthy of getting a shot of them. Right now, I'm just walking down the street, just south of the plaza, just uh, checking the sights. I've noticed that Italian women really love their boots.
Well, friends, I think I'm going to call this an episode. It's been a great week here in Rome. Tomorrow morning, I go home, back to New York. But I hope you've enjoyed this little adventure of mine. Uh, and if you'd like to see more, please give me a subscription, a comment, uh, hit the notification bell that's right down uh, here. So the next time I upload, we'll see you right away. All right, so. Arrivederci.